Hello, and welcome to the 2017 Southeast U.S. Field Musical Youth Convention. We've had a unique opportunity to have people not only from the Southeast U.S. Field gather here, but people from around the world. We've had many people that have made a special trip to be part of this special event, and we've gathered here in beautiful Christiansburg, Virginia, to not only meditate upon God's word, but to enjoy his creation and to cultivate our talents and to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So to begin our concert this evening, we will have an, an opportunity to hear some really important young musicians present the hymn, Heaven Came Down, on a very interesting instrument. The children will now come and present Heaven Came Down on the bells. Have you had a defining moment in your life where you felt the love of Jesus? Not a rhetorical question, people. Yes. I hope all of you have had such an experience. But many of you obviously say yes, but there are some that kind of had a little question mark on their face. Well, what if I told you that God's love doesn't have to be you know, displayed in a grand gesture. Can God's love be displayed in the little simple things in life? 
Yes, that's true. Every breath that we take and every pulse in our bodies echoes the love of Jesus. And now the children will, play, will sing for us, I know my father loves me. We want to give a special thanks to our young musicians for giving us such a wonderful, joyful experience listening to those beautiful songs. I know um, the practice sessions were rather long for them, so we really would like to thank them for all their efforts. So, imagine the marvelous love and grace of God that he gave us music to uplift our souls and to pro proclaim his love. I want you to dwell on that thought as Brother Bruno and Heather come up and they delight us with a piece entitled, The Love of God.
time, I, I'd like to invite the choir up. So most of you that are attending here today are from this area, but many of you aren't. While you were driving up the winding roads up to our little camp here today, what was something that you observed? You, did you observe the mountains and the beautiful trees, the greenery all around us? We were able to witness the beautiful nature that we are surrounded with. We were able to spend a whole week's time here in the mountains here and focus on God's creation, focus on his melody that he's given to us with each singing bird, each, each little bird that flies by has some sort of praise for God. Is that correct? So how much more that we who have the ability to praise him with other talents should be able to do so in similar means. So with that, we have the choir will be singing for us a special arrangement of a famous hymn we are all very familiar with. All things bright and beautiful. Next, the choir will present for us a beautiful um, arrangement designed to praise the Lord set to a famous Mozart melody.
Next, the <coughs> choir will present for us a beautiful arrangement written in 20th century. It's a delightful reminder that beautiful, uplifting, and sacred music filled with innocence and sacred love can be timeless. The next piece that the choir will be presenting is a very well-known piece and a very recognizable <coughs> arrangement, a very powerful piece of music. The choir will be presenting an arrangement from the famous piece, Messiah, Hallelujah. Hey! 
Did I not say it was a powerful piece? This morning, we were presented with a beautiful original piece composed by our very own brother, Bruno, who traveled very far to be here with us. His beautiful piece had a wonderful message to convey. The pain, and the agony, and the ray of hope that the paralytic felt in the Bible. <laughs> so with that, we will have Brother Bruno and Jeremiah come up to present. And next, the orchestra should be prepared to present. morning, learned that uh, when Brother Bruno arrived at the camp, he was asked if he had an original piece, and actually he did not at the time, but during the course of the camp, he prepared this piece. Now the thing that's significant about it is he wants us to realize that it is based on an important passage in scripture that's found in Mark chapter 2, it's found in Matthew chapter 9 and Luke chapter five, and it is a beautiful miracle of the paralytic who was totally helpless. He was totally helpless. It was impossible and hopeless for him to be able to be cured. And Jesus was in the house of Peter, and the paralytic couldn't get there. But the one thing he was mainly concerned about was that his sins be forgiven. He had been treated very coldly because it was considered that this was a result of his own sin. And he had accepted that he was willing to either live or die if only he could be cleansed from his sin. And when you listen to this piece, you'll be able to hear the despair that is conveyed in the music. It's a great deal of despair and that feeling that you get when everything is helpless and hopeless and there is no answer in sight. And that is found in the music. You can hear it. His friends told him that he could see Jesus, but again, that was impossible. So what they did was they climbed to the rooftop and they let the, um, they brought him down through the roof. Jesus looked at his face, and he knew already that this man had confessed his sins back in his house. He had already confessed them. He already was so full of remorse, and Jesus looked at his face. He wasn't even able, able to talk. And Jesus looked at those eyes, and he has a tremendous message. Son, be of good cheer. Your sins are forgiven. So please, Brother Bruno wanted us to understand this message as we listen to this music because you will hear that despair and then you will hear the glimmer of hope and then you will hear the tremendous joy that he has when he realizes that he's been cleansed from his sin. This is a tremendous message of hope for every soul on this planet.
Amen. Thank you, Brother Bruno and Jeremiah, for that beautiful message, which evoked a lot of emotion, and it portrayed, as the sister mentioned, the pain and the agony that the paralytic felt. And even in his helpless condition, he was looking for hope, not just for a cure, but for something more. I hope and pray that that is our prayer every single day, that we're not looking just for contentment here on earth, but that we're looking to be showered by his grace. Amen. With that, we will invite the orchestra up to present, and they actually have quite a few selections that they will be presenting us today. And one of the, of the selections is a very f um, famous composition by a German composer, Schubert. The first piece that they will bring for us today is Sanctos. Next, the orchestra will present a, a special arrangement of, a, of the hymn, Amazing Grace, entitled, How Sweet the Sound.
Next, we will have a special arrangement of the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. And as they play this item for us, I hope that you would meditate upon those words and give up all your thoughts and your desires and say, it is truly well with my soul that God takes control of every aspect of my life and all my choices. The next piece is an African-American traditional tune which is set to music entitled Soon I Will Be Done.
then the next piece that we have is from Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, used as a theme for a famous hymn. This piece is entitled Ode to Joy. Amen. The next piece that we have for you is also another famous and very well-known hymn entitled, All Glory, Laud, and Honor. Thank you. 
The next piece is a song about the birth of Christ, which is a joyous and wonderful time in Christian history. It indicated and proclaimed that our Savior and our Messiah was here. It's a very hopeful message. So next we have, Do You Hear What I Hear? Our final piece for this evening is a wonderful piece that has a w great message. And I'd like to read some of the words for you to meditate upon and ponder as we hear the music. Lord, as I seek your guidance for the day, find my thoughts unyielding. Confusion crowds my way, but then when I bow to you, the challenges you guide me through, your promises are ever new. I claim them for today. Your will cannot lead me where your grace will not keep me. Your hand will protect me. I rest in your care. Your eyes will watch. Your love forgives. And when I am faltering, I still will find you there. Each new day's design is charted by your hand and graciously revealed as I seek your master plan. Keep my steps faithful when I go. Return me to the joy that your blessings can bestow. Your will cannot lead me where your grace will not keep me. Your hand will protect me. I rest in your care. Your eyes will watch. Your love forgives. And when I am faltering, I still will find you there. With that, I hope that message is our prayer every day, and it echoes in our life as we hear this beautiful piece and as we leave from here i hope that message stays with you
Amen. How many of you were blessed by the beautiful message that we received through music today? I know I sure did. And I just wanted to kind of recognize some of the musicians that we had here today. And um, I know there were different sections here and a, a lot of instruments that we've seen before and there are some that we haven't seen before. So I'd like to have our wind instruments stand up. You can see we have various different wind instruments here. You show them your instruments. Yes, we, we only had a couple of flute, um, trumpet players, and they were very powerful, were they not? Yeah. Amen. Yes, and we actually only had one oboe. Two oboes. Two oboes. Okay, two oboes. And um, also another instrument that we don't really see very often. So we had some flutes and clarinets as well, but there are definitely more wind instruments. And we'd like you, each of you sitting here and the children that did the bells as well, pick up some new instruments. And we'd like to see more instruments up there trombones. for the next. Trombones, yes. French horns. French horns and trombones. Tuba. Tuba. <laughs> Very big instruments, but we'd like to see them up there. Hopefully next time we'll have a bigger stage to accommodate bigger instruments. So we'd really love to see a variety of instruments up here to praise and honor God. Scott, you can have a seat. And uh, we have a variety of, of string instruments here as well. We can have um, the cellos. Cellos. The cellos. We had three wonderful uh, celloists here. We'd like to thank them. Um, how about our first violins? Thank you for your wonderful music. Second violin. All right, thank you. And you got the violas. We had one. <laughs> so there you go. That was third violin. Ooh, thank you. Thank you all for all of your <laughs> wonderful participation and your hard work. And I want to tell you each day throughout this week that we've spent here together, these musicians and singers have spent countless hours practicing. And we want to um, appreciate them for their work and for bringing to us a beautiful presentation here today. But all of that, also, we want to um, recognize it was accompanied by our wonderful pianists here. Can our two pianists stand up? Brother Bruno and Heather, thank you for your accompaniment. And we'd like to especially thank our conductor here, Brother Isaac. He would traveled far to be here to help us with our event here. You know, we actually asked him to be here, and he had to go through quite a little bit to make it here. So we're really grateful that he was able to help us out with our event. But most of all, we'd like to thank God for helping us to be here, to have this event happen. This was definitely a labor of love to make this event happen. We've been planning this for a little while now, and it was actually scheduled to take place last year. But due to a couple of scheduling conflicts, it was unable to happen. So we're very grateful to God that he was, he had definitely a plan in, in place for us that it was supposed to take place this year. So we'd like to thank him and I'd like to thank my team that helped me out to make this event happen as well. So we, we worked very hard to have this happen and we saw a lot of interest. We have a lot of talent here. We'd like for each and every one of you, even if you are not a music musician, we want you to focus on your talent, grow your talent. We need to cultivate and use it for his <coughs> grace and for his good. We had a message here during the week by Brother Romero who talked about using our talents and being able to use it to uplift each other. There's a lot of negativity out there in this world, but we know that God's music here is able to uplift and fill our souls with happiness and we can focus on the positive things around us. So with that, I'd like to leave you with Hebrews 2.12. Hebrew 2.12. Saying, 
I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the church, and in the midst of the church will I sing praise unto you. I hope that was your experience here today, that you could stand up in the midst of the church and sing praises unto him. The, oh, we have a gift that they have prepared for us. Now we thank and recognize the musicians, but we'd also like to thank and recognize all the beautiful voices that we heard up there as well. We thank you for uh, gracing us with your wonderful voices. With that, um, 
we come to the conclusion of our event here. And like I was mentioning, I was thanking a lot of different people here. I want to thank also all the uh, ministers that were present here throughout the whole week. They, they were able to kind of minister to the young people and engage with them, work with them and build a relationship with them. So we'd like to thank all of them for being here. And we'd also like to thank especially our cooks that were working very hard for uh, to help us out here as well. So we, we like to thank every one of you for being here to fill the seats, to listen to the wonderful music. So thank you for making the trip. For, I know some of you drove very far to be here, so we'd like to thank you for that. And with that, as we've come to the conclusion, I'd like to um, call my dad up, Brother Suresh Kumar, to come, to come offer up our final prayer. Our Father, who is art in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful moment of worship. Thank you for this young people who have given to us that they may be inspiring us in various ways, in both physical and spiritual. And we thank you for the wonderful music and the message that we received. That would continue helping us that the words that we received may find place in our heart. That when we depart from here, we may be filled with thy spirit. When we go out to our respective places, help us that we may share the good tidings that we received. And we also pray that we would continue to be with these young people and they may multiply their talents with thy guidance. May the Holy Spirit be with them at all times, that they may be feeling encouraged in every walk of their life, growing in grace to be a wonderful friend of Jesus. We thank you for the friends and visitors who are here that would bless them and help them. We also pray for those who are in the valley of decision that would help them that they may make the wonderful decision and give their young heart to Jesus, our friend and savior. We pray that they would also continue helping um, the ministers and their servants, those who are helping the need of these young people that would also continue helping us that we can come to the foot of the cross and learn from thee and help the little ones and feed this flock and continue being with us. Give us wisdom from above. Help us to be faithful until the end. Forgive the sins and, sins and shortcomings. Help us the rest of the hours and in this Sabbath day and the new week to come. And take the glory and honor unto thee. May all these things that is presented before thee be for thy glory and thy honor, not for us, but thee, to thee everything belongs. And we ask all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.